everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a haul video and also unboxing video. So I went to um, a thrift store, the Desert Thrift. It's the Purple Heart Desert Thrift. And I also went to um, two antique malls and some yard sales. And I have some unboxings, but I'm going to do the unboxings first. So anyways, um, Welcome. I don't know if I said my name is Kathy, in case you don't know who I am. Um, I, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss anything, any new content that comes out. Uh, subscriptions are free. <laughs> oh my God, I just opened this and this is like the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Um, so I'm gonna do the unboxing first, like I said, and I will put everybody's link down below in the description. So this first one I got from Christine, and Christine does a live sale with Jen Janides on Fridays, and oh my gosh, look at these, they're so cute, these are cuter in person, these are old vintage L's, they're little tiny ones, and they're from Japan, and they, oh my gosh, they look like they're brand new, oh my gosh, they are so Stinking cute. Look at that. <gasps> are we going to craft with these? But I don't think so. These are going to be, I'm just going to keep these. Look at that. Oh my God, I love these so much. I think this might have been um, a name your price sale. <gasps> but these are just stinking adorable. So there's red, green, and yellow. Oh my gosh. I am in love with these. Okay, I'm gonna put them in this little box I have here for right now. Those are so stinking cute. I don't remember what the other thing is. Oh, I think there were some ornaments. Oh no, it was these um, these doves. It was a whole bag of doves for like, I think it was $2. Um, so these would be great for crafting. It'd be great to put them on your tree. See, there's one. Two, three, four, five. I think there's six of them. They're like spun cotton. And then they have feathers, real feathers. They're so pretty. So thank you, Christine. Love, love, love. Love those. And then uh, this one is from Sandy. Uh, Sandy Spiff. Sandy Spiff's Vintage 50, I believe. Um, I don't remember what this is. No clue. I don't remember. Oh, did I bring my glasses? Oh, I went in the other room. And I think, did I leave my glasses? Please don't tell me I left my glasses in there. I think I did. Oh, no, here they are. They just got buried. I can't see without my glasses. Okay, hi, Kathy. This is a wonderful gift. Oh, gift from Marcy. I do remember what this is now. This is a gift from Marcy. Um, Helen and I both got this gift. I think this is what it is. And we're supposed to do a crafting, we're supposed to craft with these on a Crafty Friday. Um, I'm just gonna open this card. I forgot all about this, but I do remember now. Oh, and she gave me a beautiful little thank you card, but it's blank, it's a little blank card that I can reuse, I like that. So this is from Sandy. And let me see what I got, because I don't remember. I know, I think she split it up in two. And she said, uh, split it between Helen and Kathy. And, um, and then somebody else suggested, maybe you should craft with that on a Crafty Friday. Because Helen New England Thrifter does Crafty Fridays. Um, that would be fun. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little, oh, a little reindeer. A little reindeer. Um, I could do something with that. A little assemblage. And this. Oh, I love these. So, two wreaths. Two bottle brush wreaths. Those are nice. And then, I gotta put this card somewhere. Some little um, 
package picks. More presents. And what else? Ooh. Oh, some plastic fantastic. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's gonna make a nice, nice emblem. I think that's it. Oh no, two more things. Two more items. Let's see. I think we, I'm trying to think who we were both bidding on them. Oh no, I can't remember. Maybe not. <gasps> two little blocks. Look at how cute they are. These are by Russ, made in Taiwan. And they have little pictures on them. Those are cute. And then um, some holiday, a holiday goose. Oh my gosh, a lot of stuff. Is that it? Yep, one more. Got a lot of stuff in this little box. Oh, another little pick. Another little um, package pick, like a little present. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I had to think of something and then um, on our Friday, craft show. I had to make something. That's going to be fun. Okay, I can't wait. Thank you, Sandy. And thank you so much, Marcy. That was really sweet. Really nice of Marcy to do that. Okay, so that was that. And then um, from Steph. Steph sells stuff by the seashore. This is um, a shirt that I got from her, and I hope it fits. I hope it fits. Let me see, I have to open this carefully. Okay, hopefully the fan isn't too loud. I just turned that on to block out the TV, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Because um, I don't want any, I'm not monetized, but I still don't want to strike against me. Okay, I'm having a hard time opening this. Like I said, I don't want to cut anything. So let me see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's the way you do it. So I hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. Today is um, Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I was exhausted Thursday after cooking for, you know, two days, preparing. Um, oh my gosh, I was just so tired. I was actually, I actually went to bed at nine o'clock. I don't go to bed usually till 11 or 12. But I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only nine o'clock. It feels like it's midnight. But I lay there and I couldn't really sleep, so I watched a movie. Okay. I love these style tops. It's kind of a boho style from Steph. Steph sells stuff by the seashore. She does sales on Tuesdays with Helen, New England Thrifter. And she also does sales late Friday night, like at 10 o'clock Eastern. So, oh, this is so pretty. I hope it fits me. I really hope it fits. Oh, it looks small. Oof, might be too small. Oh, I don't know. I was really hoping it would fit. It's really pretty. But we'll see. I might, um, might be find a way to <laughs> maybe wash it and like stretch it out a little bit because it's kind of that gauzy fabric but that is so pretty very pretty so thank you Steph and like I said I'm gonna put everybody's link down below in the description now this video might be in two parts because I got a lot of stuff so um, I'm gonna go with um, what I got at the thrift store so at Purple Heart Desert Thrift. I went there on Wednesday. Wednesdays are 25% off, and I got a few things. Um, was this there? Gosh, now I don't remember. Oh, that's a problem, as I forgot where I got things. I should put some of this stuff away. Um, I love my elves <laughs> so much. I gotta put all this in one box because that's gonna be a crafting project. Okay. 
I think this is what I got there. I can't, don't remember. Okay, I know I got this there. This is a por, por, I think it's a Porringer. I already have one. So I thought I'd just get another one. It is pewter. I believe it was made in Holland. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. Um, Metawa Holland. So that's for porridge. Eat your porridge. Um, so I got that. I'm still trying to remember where I got things. Um, I believe I got... Did I get this there? This is crazy. I'm forgetting. I may have gotten this there. <laughs> this little Tonala Dove. Although I might have gotten this somewhere else. I can't remember. This is just crazy. I did get these at the Desert Thrift. These are so worn out, but they're so stinking adorable. Look at these. Gosh. <gasps> are these not like the cutest little baby shoes you've ever seen? They're very worn out. Um, they even have like a little hole in the toe here or the start of a hole. They've been very well worn, probably by more than one child, I'm thinking. Um, this one is in really rough shape, but it has the little buttons, button closure. Oh, this is so stinking cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Um, this one's in much better condition. Oh, it's so cute. I might do like a little assemblage, maybe put like a bottle brush tree in there or something, but I could not let those stay behind it's so stinking cute super old i haven't researched them yet so i don't know the age on them and then i picked up this um tree and i have one like it this one did come with a light and this is those uh safety pin trees and let me show you um if i can get it here without dropping it but yeah look at this it has has the gold safety pins and it has the clear um beads on there it's really cool i think misty just sold one of these but i really like these um and it does come with a light and the light does work and i'll show you now it does not have a toggle switch you could always change this out and put a toggle switch in if you wanted to but let me plug this in and show you if i can find my plug without breaking anything on my table. Where, oh, here it is, right there in front of me. <gasps> Look at how pretty. Isn't that pretty? But I mean, you can put a battery operated light on there. There's any, all kinds of options nowadays, if you wanted to. You can put tea lights in there, fairy lights. Um, you can put colored lights. You can put a little star on the top. It is so pretty. I do have one of these in my own collection, like I said, but it doesn't have a light. Um, I can't remember what I use, if I use fairy lights or, or what I use, but. Yes, yeah, so that is really nice. I That is just so cool. That's a lot of work to make that, I would think. And that may be all that I got there. I don't know. I can't remember. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you what else I got there. Oh, let's see. I also picked up this, and I don't know if it's um, if it's silver-plated or not. Now, this is a candelabra. It has four swans. You will put your candlesticks in here. And I think there's a some kind of a bowl that goes in the center. It might have been a silver bowl, but you could put a glass bowl. Um, of course, that's not gonna work, but you could put something there in the center. You could even just put like a um, some kind of a flower arrangement in there in the center if you wanted to. It has all kinds of possibilities, but I thought it was really nice. And it it's, comes apart, so it's easy to ship. So it goes flat. Nice for storing, nice for shipping. So that was a nice, a nice buy. Um, so that was all I believe that I got at the thrift store. And then Friday we went to an estate sale. It was just a, you know, private, it wasn't a 
professional estate sale. It was like privately done estate sale. And I got some good deals. I got a beautiful bed spread for my bed. I paid $10 for it and it comes with a sham and a pillow. Um, it's too big to show you, but it was it's really nice. Um, it was nice and clean. I did wash it anyways, just in case, but it was really nice. I picked up this boot. I love this. This is smaller. I've had bigger ones. Uh, this is a smaller one. It's a brass boot. I love this. So I got that. I got these two. Willow. Is it Willow House? I think it's Willow. Or Willow Tree. Two Willow Tree Angels. I can see that. Oh, this is dusty. I need to clean these up. So I got those. Um, I got these little bottles. They, I think they're by Wheaton. They're three little mini bottles. You know, I love glass bottles. But they are the little Wheaton bottles. Little tiny ones. And they have little corks on the top. And then I got these little earrings. These are for myself. They're little um, studs. And they're red and clear. Nothing too fancy, but just simple. And then, what else did I get there? Oh, I got two boots, and uh, two more boots. I got this little, um, this one feels like it's made out of paper. A fancy boot, it is an ornament. But that would be cute in a display with a little, of course, the bottle brush tree in there, right? And then I got a, um, I put these in there for now. With these little ceramic or porcelain shoe. A little, little fancy boot. Very fancy, look at that. Very pretty, fancy. And did I get this there? Let me think. I picked this up. It's just a little bowl. It's kind of that cubist style, reminds me of those fairy lamps, but it is pink. Very light, subtle, like a depression glass pink. So I picked that up. And then this little ceramic caddy. It's a um, studio pottery. And I'm gonna keep this, and I'm gonna put my all my uh, paint brushes and little tools in there. This is just perfect. Nice little caddy. I saw another one of these. I saw actually two at a yard sale a couple months ago. And then he had all kinds of paint brushes and stuff in it, but he wanted a lot of money for it. And this, I mean, I just bundled everything together. And I think I paid, with the bedspread, $25. So those items I just showed you and this and that. And I think I also picked up this little little brass incense burner. Just some, you know, you see these all the time, but nice little brass incense burner. And I think, oh, and one more item. <laughs> Oops, Oops, don't break that, Kathy. Um, I put my elves in here, but this cool box. See, it makes a nice little display. But it's, a, it's um, it must be like a little piggy bank, or not piggy bank, it's not a pig. It looks like a little bank, because it's got a little slot in the top. But I just love this. You know, I, you know me and tins. But I thought it was really pretty. It is made in England. Bluebird Confectionery, Bluebird Confectionery. Harry Vincent Limited, I think. Harry Vincent Limited, Huntington, Worcester, Worcestershire, England. And I thought, I just love that. And like I said, it makes a really nice display piece. It is very thin. It's a very thin tin, but it's very pretty. Um, and you can make a nice little display in there with anything. <laughs> so that, and is that all I got there? I think it might be, I'm trying to think. Seems like I got something else, I can't remember. Um, my husband picked this up for me, a little Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer book, a little golden book. You know, I told him to start looking for these because he went, well, he went earlier on Friday. I wasn't going to go Friday, 
So he went early in the morning. He was gone before I woke up. I slept till nine. I, I was so tired. <laughs> it was Friday. And then when he came home, he told me about this estate sale. He said, you may want to go there. And uh, we ended up going together and we got some stuff. So and I was really happy that I went. Uh, this I picked up at a yard sale. It's the only thing I got. And the reason I got this is I was watching Karina from Tarnished Treasures. And she made some um, Christmas tree, you know, out of the jewelry, out of little tins like this or little trays. So I thought, that was a great idea. I might try that. I'm going to copy you, Karina. But I thought that was just a great idea, and I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm trying to think if I want my husband to drill a hole in this so there's something to hang. Um, I don't know yet. But it's kind of a, um, a brass color. I don't know if it is brass. I'm not really sure, but I thought that would be perfect for a tree, a jewelry tree. Okay, so that was there. And then um, today, um, this one area, every, every few months they have a major mega yard sale. And they have huge tables with tons of stuff on them. I, w I was only able to get four items, but let me show you what I got. Um, I got this ain't this the angel, this mermaid Avon bottle. This is only the second time I found one. I have one in my own personal collection. This one will be up for sale, but these are hard to find. I love her. I rinsed her out. She does need some more cleaning inside, um, but I can let the new owner do that. So a nice mermaid Avon bottle. Nice to put in your bathroom if you have that beach theme or mermaid theme. Bathroom is perfect for that. And then I got this um, blue willow. It is a, a saucer. Um, this one was made, I think this one was made in occupied Japan. Let me see if I'm correct. Yeah, occupied Japan. But it looks like it's also flow blue. You can see how it's like the blue is faded into the into the ceramic or the porcelain but that's the blue willow and then I did get two flow blue pieces that are the same I'll probably keep one and sell one because I do have a little small collection of the flow blue and I love these so there's I picked up two of those and that's all I got there and so I paid four dollars for all of it no, I paid two dollars. So that was like fifty cents a piece. Yeah, I was really surprised. I thought it was gonna be at least four dollars, but it was two dollars. So that was the deal of the day. <laughs> so that's what I got today. And then also today I got a ceramic Christmas tree. Um I did pay a little bit high for that. I think I, I paid twenty dollars for that. I ran out of money, and so I had to get twenty dollars for my husband. He's like, twenty dollars? He goes, isn't that a little high for that? She wanted 25, she would only go down to 20. I said, no, that's a good price. It's a Atlantic mold. And I'll insert a picture, either there or there, somewhere, there'll be a picture. It's a beautiful tree. Um, it was missing one little light and we ha so happened to have some extras, so that was perfect. Okay, and then also at the yard sale, and this was at a mobile home park. They had a, a mobile home or park-wide sale. I picked up these two witches. I I love these. Um, the lady said that her friend made these. They are awesome. I love these so much. I know Halloween is over, but look at these. Look at their, their her boots. She doesn't have any panties, so I can't show you underneath. Um, but isn't she just adorable? Oh, I love her. Look at that nose. So I got her. Too bad you're not a Christmas witch. And then this other witch. She had three. One of them was larger. Um, but I got the two small ones. She was $3 and the other one was $2. I had to get them. I had to. <laughs> They're just so adorable. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Love her. Love her. Love her so much. Her broom is a little wonky. 
I thought they were just adorable and I had to I had to have them. Okay, so two little witches. Um, and then I don't know how much time I'm spending so far. Let's see. We went to this other yard sale. And this was another one where they were just wanting to get rid of everything. So I saw these two plates and I asked them how much are they? And she said they were a dollar a piece. So I said, okay, fine. I only wanted one. I just wanted this one. So, cause I thought, she said it's from Peru. Um, it's copper and I believe these are brass, but I thought that was just a really cool plate. So I got that. And then as I was leaving, well, she gave me some freebies. And I'll show you the freebies she gave me. And then she said, oh, why don't you just take that other plate too? Um, this one. And this one is from Chile. Chile. This one's kind of heavy. I think it's copper, but I'm not really sure. It might be some other kind of metal. So I said, okay, if you can take it. Um, and then she gave me some other things. I asked her again. I was asking her how much something was. Let me see if I can. She had two of these owls. Yes, they're owls. One of them had a little chippy on its ear. So I just asked her, well, how much for this owl? And this is ironwood. I never seen an owl before in ironwood. So she goes, I tell you what, if you take all three of them, and I'll show you what the other one is. She said, if you take all three of them, you can have them. <laughs> I said, what? Really? I can have them? She said, yes. I said, well, I did notice one has a little chippy on his ear. I'm going to see if my husband can fix that, if he can file it down. But so there, I got two owls and I'm going to set these down somewhere. And a quail for free. <laughs> They're all ironwood. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then she just gave me some other little things. Um, this is a little, a wood doll, kind of, kind of like a paper doll, only she's wood. And um, just put, she has like different little outfits that you can put on her. So that was kind of cute. That makes a nice add-on item on my sales. And then just some little, some little silly doodads that I can, um, I can craft with little tiny tools. I don't know what I'll do with these. Uh oh, that's falling apart. But yeah, just little, little doodads. So I got that. Oops. And then, okay. So I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna see how long that that took, and then I may um, do a part two. So. We'll see. Okay, that's already really long, so I'm gonna stop here, and then I'm gonna put everything away, and then I'm gonna do part two of the video. It's way too long already. <laughs> I should've stopped a while ago. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comments below really help my video, so I'd appreciate it if you made some kind of comment. You can tell me what your favorite item was. So until next time, I'll see you in my next video, which will be part two.